in Madrid. One of the things, if, if, if you were inviting me to Madrid and I'd never been here before, what would you want to show me that's not in the brochure, that's not in the guidebook, that is so quintessentially Madrid? Well, uh, a lot about Madrid is, you know, it's a lot about enjoying the lifestyle, it's a lot about walking uh, the big avenues, the boulevards. We have many trees, it's a very green city. Uh, it's a city to, you know, sit down in a cafe outside the street and look at the locals and talk to them. They okay, very well, open. well, I'm talking to you as a local now, so tell me what cafe would you take me to? Where I could, uh, That's your favorite. Oh, <laughs> oh. Any cafes in the Castellana Avenue. It's the big avenue uh, crossing Madrid north to south, it's a big boulevard, and there are many, many outdoor cafes. So maybe I'll take you to, there's a beautiful one called Embassy. Embassy, like, like the Embassy. embassy yeah. yeah. And, and what makes that special? Well, they serve the best champagne cocktail, I guess that like. Ah, that. here we go. <laughs> now, we, now we're drilling down here. Okay. So, and what kind of cocktail? A champagne cocktail. Ooh. And it's very rose, nice place. Rosé? or uh, Well, if you ask Rosé, you can get Rosé. Okay, good. Of course. And, and is it Spanish champagne? Uh, cava, yeah. Ah. They can do it with champagne or with cava. And then you get beautiful and, you know, like dream uh, small little cakes or sandwiches. So it's, it's an old place, been out there like 80 years, but it's still wonderful. Now, of course, anybody can go here and go to the Prado, which is phenomenal, mm -hmm. right? But that's not the only museum in Madrid. Mm, no. So where would you take Oh, I would take you to the Sorolla Museum because we are at the Intercontinental. It's just at the back of this hotel. Is the home? It was the home of Sorolla, um, a painter from the beginning of the 20th century, and it's his home and it has all the paintings, many, many paintings. There's beautiful. It's very small, and not many Americans or foreigners get to visit it. But you, if you want to go, you get to go. Yeah. See, that's the cool part about it. Not in the brochure, off the beaten path. All right, so we've got the museum under control. We've, we've had our champagne drink at the embassy, mm -hmm. right? But if I want to sit down at a restaurant, and, and, of, and of course, I had to learn this years ago. You, know, you show up at 8 o'clock at a restaurant in, in Madrid. You are so early, it's not funny, right? <laughs> what time do you eat? Oh, dinner? Yeah. Like 9. I think that uh, like 3, 4 months in summertime, sunset is at 10 p.m. So we don't go before for, for dinner. It doesn't make sense to go for dinner when the sun is high in the sky. Uh, but, you know, 9.30, 10, that will be the time. Okay, 9.30, 10. And then, where would you take me to dinner? We've already had the drinks now. We've okay, had the but what type of restaurant do you like? You, you want very casual? You want more? I, I, I want where I can just hang. Okay. Do you like mushrooms? Yeah. Okay, there's a beautiful small restaurant uh, called El Cisne Azul. Um, that they serve all type of mushrooms. It's very casual. And by the way, we're going to put all this on our website so you can always reference <laughs> it. And it's all, see, there's a restaurant in Rome called Il Paperno, and all they serve is artichokes. Okay. Phenomenal, good. right? So this is Same the mushroom way. restaurant. This is the mushroom And you can get it any way you want. Yeah, very casual, but mushrooms with fried eggs or with whatever, all type of mushrooms, all type of different ways. And good. what's your favorite dish there? Uh, well, they have, a, they serve some certain type of mushroom, I don't know the name in English. Uh, they do them with a bit of garlic and ham, you know, or Spanish ham. Yeah, of course. And the yeah. serrano, the yeah. serrano ham? Exactly. Ah. And, and some eggs, so they mixed it up and it's a dream. But they serve it in a thousand different ways, so it's very easy. So basically it's Mushrooms Are Us. Yes. That's, that's the name of the restaurant. <laughs> mushrooms Are Us, okay. You the, name, the name of the restaurant again? El Cisne Azul, and it's located in Gravina Street. See, okay, we'll get more of that later. Okay, we've got the museum handle, we got the we got the we got the dinner handle. What about a street, just a great walking street? Well, uh, Madrid is crossed by a big avenue north to south, and that is called Castellana some parts, Paseo del Prado the parts, Recoletos, but it's the same, it's the same big, big avenue. And it's a great boulevard full of trees. So I would do that. I mean, no wonder. I would, because you see the how that city was developed from the old quarter to the newest twentieth century late 20th century and 21st century. So you see all the architecture. It's a great walk. And of course, when, and when you finish walking, then you have to have the champagne. Exactly. See, I got the concept here. Okay. <laughs> lifestyle. It, 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 we're back to lifestyle. Sure. <laughs> we always have time to see friends, like every day. Uh, you, you have the time for visiting friends, and that's something that 
many of my American friends are so they don't understand yeah well you always find you know they have an hour to, to have a coffee in the morning or to have a beer in the afternoon or a glass of wine because it's all about people in our lives isn't it mm. it's sounds like it's all, it's, it's all about drinking yeah <laughs> <laughs> we're, we're, we're about within 30 minutes of Madrid would okay. you tell would you take me that nobody knows well, I guess uh, El Prado, El Pardo, sorry. El, pa El Prado, we know. No, El, El Pardo. Pardo. El Pardo is a very small village. It's where uh, there's an 18th century palace that is actually where Franco lived. But I'm not taking you to visit the palace. I'm taking you to visit the town. It's the typical Castilian town. Could be in the middle of, you know, could drive three hours together, but it's just 20 minutes. And they, you have the best aperitif there. It's all. Oh, we're back to drinking. Yeah, no, but to eat. Wait a minute, <laughs> come on. And what are we gonna what are we gonna eat there? Well, you can have a coke, and if you don't want to drink, no, I'm not. I would food. never do that. But if you want to eat, they serve a wonderful um, veal. I mean, every, El Pardo Palace was a hunting lodge uh, from the kings, and it's surrounded by tree, you know, wonderful park. Uh, so they serve hunting food. I mean, like veal, veal, and all this. So cool. That's a a that's hearty cool. meal. Yeah, it could be like in Germany. You get a lot of that, but it's everything but the pretzels. Spanish. Everything but the pretzels. I yeah, yeah. <laughs> no pretzels. <laughs> no pre I know. No bagels. No bagels. <laughs> no, no, especially no bagels. Come on, son. <laughs> Virginia Herrita, the founder and CEO of Made for Spain.